Hello everyone, this is Waldorf. And this is Stetler. And now we have Battle Report 83. 083. Which is Buckeye Battles Game 4, Kingdom of Equitain versus Beast Herd. The Beast Hoid. And if you're keeping track, I'm at 23 points after three games. The guys with three heads with only two eyes. And only two horns. And only two horns. Unless they've got an eye on the back. We think we had this discussion before, didn't we? We could have. Who they knows? have one or two on the back, maybe. Maybe there's an entire head back there pointing backwards. There could be. It could be four heads. That's true. Four, four heads and four eyes. That would make sense. But they do kind of like the threes. So it's, I'm going to bet it's threes. Yeah, I would I would think so also. Anyway. All right. Well, uh, enough of that. Are we done? That's the game. Thank okay, you. Thank you. <laughs> um, See you next time. Moving on. Uh, my army list. You've seen it before. It probably if not. You can pause and take a look at it if you'd like. And we have the Beast Herds. Beast Hoids. Uh, I have a Beast Lord as the general with light armor, dark rain. He's got the Lucky Shield, Talisman of Greater Shielding, Sword of Might, and uh, he's on a Razor Tusk Chariot. Okay. A Beast Chieftain, he's the BSB. He's got light armor, he's a Greater Totem Bearer, and he has the Sprout of Rebirth. Um, and a Soothsayer Apprentice, a Spell Scroll, and two spells from Shamanism. Uh, units, he had 40 wild horns with full command, paired weapons, banner of the wild herd, and the blooded horn totem. That's kind of a standard build I see all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, 20 wild horns with uh, standard paired weapons. Um, this unit was scouting as well. This 20 wild horns were scouting. Um, scouting or ambushing? I mean, ambush, sorry, ambushing. They all can. They all can Correct, ambush. Yeah. Uh, 37 Longhorns with Halberds, Heavy Armor, Full Command, and the Black Wing Totem. Mm -hmm. Two units of six Minotaurs with Champs and Musicians and Paired Min Weapons. Minotaurs as opposed to Minotaurs? Minotaurs. Minotaurs. <laughs> oh, well. Yes. They're Minotaurs. They, yeah. Minotaurs. The min min yeah. And they, then They can't spell in that forest. And <laughs> they live in a forest. No one yeah. taught them to spell. And then a unit of three Raiding Chariots. Um, okay. I don't see this much. Yeah, not so much. I mean, it's not, as Beast Herd's list goes, this isn't particularly scary. I mean, well, I mean, I don't see the unit of three chariots. You don't see the units of chariots in general. Yeah, um, again. No Gore-Tex. Kind of the same as... The characters aren't particularly scary. Yeah, kind of the same feeling I got when I played the Vermin Swarm. This yeah, is yeah. a very kind Beast Herd's yeah. list. Yeah, this, this is more appropriate for the build that you have on your Equitane list. Definitely, <laughs> this is definitely not a, um yeah. optimized list, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Yeah. Um, Oh, you know what? They have a. You got to be careful because this unit of Minotaurs has a cham instead of a champ. Yeah, it's Just better, saying. better than being a sham. <laughs> um, so, deployment. This, okay. Um, I deployed my entire army first. All right. Um, Trebuchet's in the corner. And I, believe I've already moved when I took this picture. Okay, so I'll have to check in just a second. So, um, so I have the two trebuchets in the corner. Right. Uh, I've got my. He has no shooting at all. Right. So my damsel is hanging out here. This dark rain thing. By herself. Dark, dark rain is the anti-shooting. Yes. Um, my BSB is hanging out here by himself. Mm -hmm. My other character, my um, virtue of my dragon lance, virtue of guy, mm -hmm. my guy is out here by himself. Right. Um, and the unit of aspirants. aspirants over here facing off the three chariots. If I can charge them. I think I crush him. Yeah, you'll make sure work of that. Um, if he charges me, I think he crushes me. <laughs> he who charges wins over here, I That's believe. That's usually the case with this army. And this is the uh, the two objectives. Oh, okay. That's those two markers? Yeah. And what do we got? We got a woods, uh, we two have a, hills. One woods, two hills. We played this as a ruin. We okay. didn't know what else to do. And a building. Is it, okay. So it's, it's passable or impassable? It's passable. Right? It's a ruin. Okay. Um, so there you have it. This is, you know, big unit of minotaurs, minotaurs, mm -hmm. his general, these guys are, uh, ambushing guys right. back here on his paper. Lots of papers back there. This big wild horn unit. Mm -hmm. Uh, sorry, the big long, long horn, horn unit. unit. Wild uh, horn. Huge wild horn unit over there. Yeah. Okay. And three chariots. Uh, there's a better picture of his long, long horns. I wonder what car I wonder what model that he used for that chariot. I don't know. It's a. I think it was a scratch-built combo thing. Yeah, it looks kind of interesting. Yeah, it was a nice-looking model. Yeah. It needed to be on a base, but it was a nice model. I was going to say it's a base, but yeah. 
Um, we got paddles. So turn one. Um, I kind of stayed back. Except for your Dragonlance guy. Except for my Dragonlance guy. These guys, of course, are staying here. Damsel's staying here. We're making sure his ambush... I don't want to give his ambushers the an easy in and charge. Is okay. what I'm doing. So it was okay if... Did he not take throwing weapons on his ambushers? He didn't, I think. Well, maybe he didn't. The um, So, other than that, the... Dragonlance guy. No, he didn't. So it was safe for you to put your yeah. mage there. The Dragonlance Virtue of Might guy could make his 16 inch move and get up here out of the Ark of the Minotaurs. Right. Um, and threaten his whole flank. Because mm -hmm. he's so awesome by himself. If you've watched these previous games, you know how awesome yeah. he is. Oh, yeah. Um, so there we have it. I did get to go first. So I start off by double wanting a trebuchet. Okay. And putting it out for the game. All right. I didn't need it anyway. Did they're, get the open overrated. throne off. Okay. Got that going for me. <laughs> That's a trade off. Um, I believe the other trebuchet fired at uh, this unit of minotaurs mm -hmm. and missed. Okay. Just hoping to put some wounds on him, kill a couple if I could. Mm -hmm. um, his turn one, he comes up. He's advancing. I mean, these guys are. I think that's like a 14 inch charge, which is, you know, re-rolling is extremely manageable. Yep. Um, but of course the short horns, wild horns, or sorry, wild, wild horns, horns are coming up. Minotaurs advancing, big unit long horns advancing. And they could not get past me out of my arc. So they just kind of held up mm -hmm. and made sure they came as far forward as they could and kept me in the front. Oh, the ambush is actually there. They're, just, they're not, he's, he's they're just sitting, they're sitting there waiting. Okay. Um, so that's where he's advanced to. He, uh, I forgot he did have a shooting spell because he had Swarm of Insects. Yeah, it blurred out the whole swarm, it's, blurred out the whole It scared screen. me because when I re recalled that I left my damsel floating around there by himself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he's hurling the camera Swarm shaking. of Insects. Yeah. Um, so we go to turn two. Um, I thought long and hard about this, but decided it was the way to go. I charged the unit here into the front. Mm -hmm. uh, the Knights of the Realm charged into the front. And the aspirants came over into the flank. Oh, it's a flank charge. It's a flank charge from the aspirants. Yeah. It's... The problem is if I get stuck there, yep. they have the rear charge and they crush me. Yeah, where's his general? Uh, out. The general's out of range. Okay. BSP? So he, he, if he remains steadfast, BSP is way out of the range. Okay. So if he remains steadfast, he's going to have one shot at a seven. Yeah. If he remains steadfast. If he doesn't remain steadfast, I don't think he has a chance. No. So they both, of course, make it. Mm -hmm. So smash. And there you go. Look at that. It looks nice. That's the way it should be. And you went over to this side, what? Because you were worried Oops. about the Minotaur? I was being worried. In? Yes. I moved to the, um, went to the left of the unit over here because, I, like I said, I didn't want to be hanging out right. here and have the Minotaurs right. have a so was... rear charge on me. Okay. Correct. And, of course, Mr. Dragonlance. Went into the front. He doesn't care. You've seen the pictures before. He'll charge anything. Uh, it's, yes, I have seen that. <laughs> You've seen how well it's done for me this whole time, too, right? Yeah. He can, yeah, you're he can handle six minotaurs. He's got a dragon lance. You're counting, you're counting on a lot for that re-rollable. <laughs> I don't know what your problem is. Um, so I've got the trebuchet that cannot shoot. Round two. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other trebuchet takes a shot and... Kills off, it looks like, four, yeah, eight, nine, nice or thing. ten of those guys. That's a nice target to Peels off the back row of them. Yeah, I'm not a fan of shooting at monsters after the trebuchets. I, I wanted, I want to reduce them by a couple Yeah. on the way in, but uh, this is, I'm going to thin these guys out as well, too. Yeah. And when they came, when it came down to it, it was a four for these guys and a five for the others. Yeah. yeah. So that's what decided me mm -hmm. <laughs> as well. Um, so... Went to town. He finally figured out what the high numbers on the dice mean. He figured out how to hold his lance properly. He did. He did uh, 12, I think it was a wound on this guy. He did 13 wounds. Wow. And took nothing in return. Yeah. Um, so he won that fight. It would seem so. And they ran, but I did not 
catch him. They actually ran really. Those guys <laughs> wasted no time running. <laughs> <laughs> they had their Nikes on after that. Um, and, of course, he slipped in all the blood and overran like six inches okay. total. Um, so, yeah. That, this is what that sword is, the Lance com- that combo is made to do. Every yep. once in a while it and, works. And just every to, six games you'll see this. Every time, every once in a while it'll taunt you by working. Yep. Um, over here, <clears throat> he's killed one of me, mm-hmm. which is going to mean he's going to hold steadfast because he's got two full ranks and I don't. Oh, how many? Um, and I only killed nine of him. I actually came up really light. I mean, these guys are weapon skill four, so I'm needing fours to hit. So, anyway. I only killed nine. There you go. Yeah, four's a hit, so that's that's probably average, actually. But I did... He did fail his uh, roll. And you ran him and down And anyway. we ran him down okay. with both. Well, that works out anyway. Because it got me out of yes. arc of everything. So you were panicking was, for a moment. See, what's that? I was panicking for a moment when he yeah. stuck, but it was a seven, one chance at a seven. Yeah. I mean, that's like a 50, what, 55% chance or something. or something like that, yeah. Slightly over 50. Um, so anyway, worked out well for me. Um, and I haven't learned my lesson and put her in a unit yet. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why. Um, I'm not that worried about him with his one-up armor save, but mm-hmm. she doesn't have any right to be out here by herself. No, no, not at all. Um, so moving on to his turn. Is that the end? Moving his, his turn, his minotaurs come up a little bit further. Mm-hmm. They're kind of edging up. They're not coming fast. Mm-hmm. This unit of uh, ambushers comes in, mm-hmm. elects not to go for the trebuchets, and it's coming towards the scoring. Mm-hmm. He wants to get near the scoring uh, marker. Yeah, what turn are we on? It's only turn three, I believe. Okay. Didn't try to shoot down your wizard, huh? Uh, no. Well, he doesn't have shooting. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. That's right. Didn't um, the, the other thing he did was he rallied his minotaurs. Yeah. And he turned his general's chariot to face these two units over here. Mm-hmm. You got that. And moving on. Now we're on turn three. So that was turn two. Moving on okay. turn three. Well, you know, he'll charge six of them, so he might, might as well, as well take charge on two. two. Exactly. <laughs> Two's a picnic. Um Oh, I've twice cast the Master of Stone on this unit, mm-hmm. and I've got Oaken thrown up, so it's D6 strength 5 hits, and so far I've done a total of one wound the first time and one wound the second time. Okay. Um, I was I really wanted to kill one of them and cause right. a panic check, and doing absolutely nothing. Um, so based on where everything is, um, this is after movement. You can see this unit has moved off farther to get kind of edge around. This is trying to, it's trying to push the edge over here to slip right. by. My last remaining, um, actually, I had two. One of them died in the woods as he marched up to mm-hmm. march block this u- to block this unit. Again, frenzied. So if he hits me, overruns. I think he's going to be out here, where I may have a flank on him. Mm-hmm. May have some woods too, um, and may stick him in the woods, which doesn't hurt him. Um, so Mr. Trebuchet fires. And those two wounds. Oh, going back to those guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, one of those. I, I was real happy killing ten of those. <laughs> <laughs> so he thumps into these guys and killed two. I'd be even happy if he killed ten more. I would, but <laughs> anyway. Um, elsewhere, the oh, the, missed the the unit of the unit you know, knights of the realm were able to go full sixteen and get past get his past charge. Them and you wiped out the minotaurs. And Mister Dragon Lance. Kill the remaining two minotaurs. So it's not a dragon lance; it's a minotaur lance. It's a, apparently a minotaur <laughs> it's lance. A minotaur lance. It's the yeah. only thing it's ever worked on <laughs> yes. up to this point. <laughs> um, so that's where the my turn ends. Mm-hmm. Back up to the bottom. Now down to the bottom of turn. Oh, and you turn um, those guys around. These guys turn around, waiting for the chariots to come around the corner. Right. And you know, those these guys, guys move come up. up. Yeah. One way or another, I'm gonna. Now the and the peg knights, of course, are over sure. here as well to a. Double hit them if I need to, because mm-hmm. I've got to get them off this scoring. These guys are scoring, and you know I've got to get him off of it, right? Because um, I figure no matter what, he's got two scoring units left over here. You know, no matter how long we play, stare down at each other, I've got three scoring units left in this area to, mm-hmm. to contest that one. 
Um, so I get uh, I did put stone skin on these guys, the aspirants, mm-hmm. in case he does. He makes it. Mm-hmm. He makes it in there and charges. You know, gets it all. Live it. And these guys have the healing waters, which is I believe that five up. Um, sorry, the four up regen. All right, because they have um, the uh, throne up. Yeah, because the throne's still up. Um, so he does charge with his general. I after I kind of ran the odds, him hitting me in the flank. There's no way I'm going to stand there, even at toughness. So I ran, I fled, took three wounds running through the building, mm-hmm. and ended up out here. Stone skin doesn't help you against buildings. No, it doesn't. Um, and what I also looked at is if if he fled, he fled. I mean, yeah, he pursued me. If he charged me and failed the charge. If even if he gets a five, the way I looked at it, this guy's going to need a fifteen to get to him because mm-hmm. I was ten inches away from him before the charge. Right. So on a failed charge, that leaves his rear exposed to Mister Dragonland. Yeah. So that was my whole goal with this, mm-hmm. and that's the other reason I fled with that unit. Okay. Um, elsewhere, you can see the chariots are coming up more towards the center. Now they're not afraid to get around the corner of the building because these two guys are fleeing. Nobody looking at you anymore. Hmm. And the Short horns, wild horns, wild horns have turned to, to the right to face, face the pegs. The and the mentors did not charge. The mentors the, uh, did not charge me. You only because they didn't want to um, expose themselves. And he did. He didn't want to take the. I guess didn't want to take the two, four, six, eight derangers terrain. So ones yeah. and twos in the thing just for the advantage, just for killing this. Mm-hmm. Um, so we move on to my turn four. <clears throat> That's what it looks like at the beginning of the turn. He declares his charge. Right. He holds. And the Peg Knights need a nine to get into this unit. Yeah, why not? It's a flank charge. Or was it a front charge there? It was a front charge. Okay. Yeah. He, he turned to face me. I did rally my two. Oh, that's helpful. Aspirants. Trebuchet fires away again. Puts two more wounds onto it, killing one. Mm-hmm. I managed to re- <laughs> regrow a guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not something that people normally use that spell for. I didn't use the regrow. I used the other part of it. The um, because the oaken throne is in oh, place. Okay, okay. So re- successfully okay, cast yeah. a spell. It just okay. grows a guy. Okay, okay. And you know, I had nobody, no losses in the back. So, sure, sure. Because despite the trebuchet not being able to fire, it hasn't been wounded. Right. Um, this unit of uh, knights of the realm came up here, so where they can still see the corner of this this uh, chariot. Mm-hmm. I mean, they can still see like half of it, I believe. Um, but they can also see the back of the Minotaurs, right. and they can see out this way where the other stuff is. And uh, he made your charge, obviously, you were and doing that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which means the other guy made his charge and got the um, stone skin off on Okay, side, that'll help. Which will ensure he yeah. doesn't, you know, hopefully ensure he doesn't get hurt. The guy's not that huge. This is not that scary. No, I think guy. he ends up being strength six, right? He's, I think he ends up being strength six. Yeah. Um, and I'm... You know, I've got a one-up armor. With that, I've got so a one-up rerollable armor. Yeah, with toughness to six. So yeah. Either I've got either a, I've got a one-up armor and it's a rerollable armor or a ward safe behind. Right. It. I have to choose because he's got the, uh, the, what is it called? The um, dusk the the armor stone. Mm-hmm. Anyway, dusk stone. Um, again, these knights did what I was trying to do. They made their sixteen-inch move and slipped out past the angle here. Mm-hmm. Um, these guys are just happy. Yeomen are happy hanging out, just being redirectors. Mm-hmm. I don't want to charge him, no, because of where he is. I all I have to all go through the woods right. and then put a couple guys even into the ruin. Yep, he's got higher initiative than you do, and he's got higher initiative than me. He's got strength five, a lot of five attacks. attacks each from the front guys. Yeah, it's twenty-one attacks from that unit, even as it stands, missing a guy. So I don't want any real part of it. <laughs> Not from that angle. Um, unless I can manage to catch it in the side, and he's down to 10 attacks. Right. Um, anyway, so you can see more or less where these guys have deployed mm-hmm. themselves to. So your Pegasus didn't make it. Pegasus didn't make it, so he tries at me, needing an 8 on his turn, and he makes it. And he makes it. I needed a 9 with Swift Stride and couldn't make it. He needed mm-hmm. an 8 without Swift Stride and made it. Whatever. Yeah. Happens. So he's on me. That was a bit of a risky charge on your part. It was, but, well, why not? Yeah. Um, I mean, you're going to cause more wounds. Maybe you were were counting on the seven. I mean, he's only weapon. He's only, he's hitting me on fours, 
and he's wounding me on fives, and I've got a two-up armor save. Yeah, I'm saying he's uh, you charging, mm-hmm. you're going to do more wounds, and you're counting on the seven. Right. This the next few rounds is more difficult just because the number, the balance of attacks. Right. Good point. Um, so anyway, so he got tired of waiting, and mm-hmm. came at me. To gotta do something. Um, this charge did absolutely nothing. This is guy's either charge. way. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, my, the mighty dragon lance. It's because it's not he's, a minotaur. He's not, he is he's apparently not, not a minotaur. He's not a minotaur. Doesn't get. And hurt. because this unit is behind, he's not that worried about this unit because he'll just declare a challenge if I do charge in. Mm-hmm. Um, but that a combat right? if the unit hits him in the back, it gets a plus three for re- rear charge. Right. Where this guy's only getting a plus two or something. Right. So after he figured the odds, he's like, well, why, why turn around? Yeah. Um, so he did not. And you're, he, dis- you're disadvantaged now. You're not charging. Yeah. And you can see the, uh, back in that last previous picture, the, uh, Chariots have moved further into the center of the yep. board. This is turn four. Next turn, he'll be turn five. And then actually in the game. He, deploying him out here on the side was a, a, a blunder, I thought. But Yeah, chariots are tough because they can't march. They them. can't march. They took so long to so move they up have, to get into They have it. to get charges off. Correct. If they're not in the flanks, that can be risky. Um, so he also got the... Um, actually let him borrow my cards because he uh, did not have magic cards and was having to look things up. Mm. So I was like, here, borrow mine. Take mine. I had my shamanism cards with me. Right. So, of course, and as soon as I let him do that, he gets Curse of the uh, Woods off on these guys. Mm-hmm. So they're going to be minus one to hit, and I'll treat all terrain as dangerous terrain, twos. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, the BSB moves out around here. Gets in because the BSB wanted to get within re-roll char- distance of... Right. These guys. Um, the first turn he charged in, you can see he's taken four wounds. Mm-hmm. I've taken none. Okay. Um, so actually he had a charge and no wounds. Charge in two ranks was three. He had a banner of four and I had four wounds. Mm-hmm. So it was a push. We both sit there for a turn. Moving on to my turn five. That's what we're looking at. Here, here, here. Again, I can charge in for static combat res. Um, he's put a wound on me. You can, I charge, still, you can charge the rear of those minotaurs. I can charge the rear of these minotaurs <laughs> as I charge the front, taking yep. all dangerous terrains on ones and twos. Yeah. And the more from the woods. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking front and back on the minotaurs. Yeah, I'm thinking that's like perfect. Yeah, and then whatever the f- two or three models I have can left fight can, the wild get, horns. can get hit by uh, these guys the in the flank I mean, exactly, with the longhorns. Exactly. I think it's a perfect opportunity. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm don't. i shocked I didn't do yeah, it. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, based on that, the this unit of okay, charge the chariots in the flank decided to go into the flank of the chariots. The two aspirants came around, come over here and sit on the marker. Mm-hmm. Um, especially now that these guys have left it right. for good. I um, mean, it's turn five. If he, if technically, if he wins this round, he can reform and march back to it. Maybe. Yeah. If he wins on, actually, even if he wins on my round, my turn, he's got plenty. He's got two moves if he wins on my turn. Mm-hmm. But anyway. Um, so we have that, but he doesn't, and yeah. I crush him, and he goes off the board. Mm-hmm. Or did I pursue him? I think I pursued. Him. I think you pursued him. I'm further forward, so I think I pursued yeah. him. Um, and of course, the, the knights, knights of the realm, made short work of the flank of that chariot lost, unit. Lost, lost one, killing the chariot unit. Mm-hmm. I didn't even have to pursue. You just wiped it out. Um, I think I just wiped it. No, I must have pursued. Must have pursued because I'm further down. Didn't look you're farther forward, but okay. um, got entangling roots on these guys to drop their weapon skill. Okay, it's not going to make a difference. I mean, they're already weapon skill. It makes me easier to hit them. It makes them easier to be hit. Yeah, because it drops their weapon skill to two, so they go down to from four to two. Um, now that he's not worried about the unit, he turns around and faces me. Is that a wound? That's a wound on me. Mm-hmm. The slap fight continues. Um, I've beat him every round by one at least, I think. Because I had the rear, which is two, and right. he's got no, none. Um, so he finally got tired of that, turned around, but mm-hmm. he's rolling on his nine leadership with his BSB. Right. Um, he's not sending him help, but he's tired of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so we have that. 
And so on his turn... Oh, I didn't see that angle. I wasn't paying that much to it either. Yeah. Um, when he came forward here, he actually put them in arc. Yeah. Um, which is obvious. Mm -hmm. um, he is he is Minotaurs, though, so he's got Frenzy. Mm -hmm. um, I was hoping it was going to be a failed charge. Mm -hmm. um, so I stood. He came, made it, um, smashed me. I'm sure. Uh, fight that went there. He turned to face me over here. These guys just backed up a little bit more and angled a little bit more than they have been. Right. Uh, the Minotaurs wiped me out, even with their minus weapon skill. Yeah. Because they're still hitting me on fours. Mm -hmm. And they overrun and went off the board. Yep. Because they have to overrun. So we go to my turn six. I, my BSB joins this unit. They come up here and get in his face. You know, I'm taking the marker. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm contesting the objective here. Um, I've got the other objective, and I'm contesting this one. Okay. If he wants to charge me, he's only too deep now. And the Minotaurs are just I'm there. fine with their... Representationally, they will come back till the next move. They won't, they'll be there at the beginning, yeah. bottom of turn six. Mm -hmm. Over here, uh, um, there we go. He's still, I guess he's still moving this unit. Mm. Or not done. I actually won this fight. I put a wound on him. He did oh. none to me. I won by one. He missed his rerollable eight and ran, but I failed to catch him. Hmm. Um, and on the bottom of turn six, he elected not to charge me with this unit. Okay. The Minotaurs came back in and, um, he rallied. Okay. So it was a low scoring game. I got 18, 10 out of him. He got 300, only 370 out of my army. Mm -hmm. He got the one unit of the, what did he kill? Um, the Knights. With the mentors. Yeah, the small the unit, the 260-point knight unit, and the yeah. 210 for the uh, yeoman. Yeah. So um, it ended up being a 14-6 with a uh, bonus to me. So I'm 17 to 3. Yeah. So, you know. Moving up to that middle zone. I've got, coming into game, now after finished with game round four, I have exactly 40 points. Yeah. So I'm averaging 10 points a game. <laughs> yeah. So talk about an average score. <laughs> um, I'm averaging 10 points a game for this. Um, great guy. Both, I mean, played a lot. Of, I didn't have a problem with any of my opponents. All my opponents were nice guys, um, which is one of the things I've liked. That's the second year in a row I've been to Buckeye and had five really good opponents. I think you, just, I I think you just say that because, you know, there's like three people listening to our videos. You know what word to get out. Well, that's another one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so anyway, uh, 14 to six, uh, went up to 17 to three, like I said, averaging 10 points a game now. Yep. So you're closing in on that number one table yeah. with one more game. Yeah. Three more weeks and I'm there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a couple more good, good games from the Dragonlance guy. <laughs> there you go. And I'll be there. Um, anyway, that's going to do it. Thanks for listening. Till next time. <laughs>